When we keep talking this, um, playing this holier than thou, I'm talking of survivor. I'm not talking about, I know it's easy for a governor or leaders to come up to say, oh, don't pick money from anybody, don't do this. It's wrong. You'll be arrested, you'll be punished. The law will take you in and all of that. A woman was arrested in Lagos. What was her offense? She stole plantain. And the commissioner of police was furious. You mean, this is what, what was she going to do with plantain? Not to sell, to eat. It has gotten that bad. That suggests to say that governance have failed. In the real sense of it, people are not able to take care of themselves. I'm not talking of those that are not schooled. People that are educated, that went to school, that have businesses. Businesses are folding up and they can't feed. They can't pay their rent. They can't pay the light bills. They can't pay the water rate, whatever it is rate they are going to pay. Let you know, send your child to school is like sending them abroad of those days now because there's so much money and now they can't even cope. Now, when society is like that and you are still saying they shouldn't, I will just be joking because everybody that gets out there is going to collect their money and tell you we won't collect daddy. But when I get out there, I'm hungry because you can't very really feed everybody. And that's a problem. I think it's, an, it's a leadership problem. And it's become entrenched in our society. And that is why people are not... In America today, now you can see a young man brought the rifle to kill the president, to be or one, you know, aspirant. You could see the way they treated the whole matter. Look at the people there. Look at everybody in the rally you see. You can't find somebody who is really destitute of what to eat or to wear in any of these civilized environment. But here, I mean, people that are well educated educated that have supposedly jobs they are struggling and you are saying somebody just calling please come and take twenty thousand naira. he said okay okay they just not for anything just take you are willing to take if i don't have means of livelihood you think i will not be the one sharing the money mm. and i will still go to church on sunday and thank jesus christ for it okay. do you know why because you need to survive i'm not advocating for wrongdoing i'm only trying to make you understand that i have to be alive to even vote. Election is like celebrating either Cabri or Christmas celebration. They are buying clothes, they are looking <coughs> for one, yeah, they're going for rally, and where are they going for meeting? I see women, the way they struggle to attend meetings. Okay. And at the end of the day, they are giving them money. Hmm. So if you are saying they shouldn't collect money, like we said, then we should fix the economy. <laughs>